and I think I will speak in English. I, do, I don't want to go into the details. Whatever has happened and what is happening now, these are all known to everybody now. General public knows, media knows, newspapers, every, the man in the street knows. That itself is a great achievement. We have reached somewhere, we have reached a stage where things are now not lying hidden. Now I will go into only one or two points. One is, um, recently there was a statement um, from the Minister for Information and Broadcasting uh, regarding the protests going on now. He made some disparaging comments on it saying that this is all just an exercise of intellectuals, nothing beyond that. Now, this statement shows two things. One is, he doesn't know the society, what is happening in the society, what is the society like. Now, the freedom which we all now speak about, freedom of expression or freedom of um, living freedom of acting, etc. All these things are important not just for intellectuals. Intellectuals uh, do not mean anything, they can escape every way. But when things get filtered down, who suffers? The people suffer. We have plenty of examples. Ultimately, the suffering goes down to the people and they get killed, they get raped and their houses are burnt, firstly. Secondly, his, he shows the sort of arrogance which in a democracy a minister or any leader should not show. The things are happening, the protests are, are going on all over the country and he doesn't want to listen to it. In a democracy what happens? The discourse takes place between the rulers and the people which is not happening, which he is uh, saying is not necessary at all. Now, um, the basic thing is, what I feel is the simple thing is a crisis in democracy. It has been going on for years and every stage, maybe after the time of Nehru, we have been weakening the democratic values wherever possible at every stage when and the cumulative effect of all these things we are facing now in the present context. So how do we tackle this? Question now how to now we know what has happened now what is to be done now? What next? Now when I say the scan the respect we given to democracy by, by the rulers, by the organizations, by the general public and by the individuals. It is coming down to the individuals. We all are responsible to what has happened now, what is happening now. How many of us individuals do have any respect for the democratic system, for the values of democratic system? We, do we behave democratically? This is the question. Now, Unless we tackle the problem at the root, the big damage in situation which has arisen, no, we cannot face. Thank you.